We've now got an exciting announcement about a brucellosis vaccine prize, which is one of six programmes led by AgResults. Now, AgResults is a collaborative effort between the governments of Australia, Canada, the UK and, and the US, and of course the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Well, to tell us more about it, we have Monica Barrett, who is the pilot lead of the brucellosis vaccine project for AgResults, and Peter Jeffries is the CEO of GalvMed, which is managing this vaccine prize. So Monica, tell us a little bit more about AgResults. The AgResults initiative seeks to incentivize the private sector to enter markets they may not prioritize, but would have a large impact in the developing world. We use prizes and competitions uh, to solve seemingly intractable issues such as nutrition, food security, and other agricultural challenges in international development. We uh, pose a challenge to the private sector to solve and then provide prizes to those who can do so. And we're completely agnostic to the technology or the approach that each organization uses, which enables them to test different ideas and innovate, and also enables an efficient use of public funds. If there isn't a solution that we find, then we don't pay out the prize money and it can be used elsewhere. However, we don't usually find that's the case. There's usually many different solutions, uh, the most effective of which uh, gets the largest prize. So Peter Jeffries, GalvMed has been chosen to manage and implement this prize. What do you make of it? So it's a great opportunity to take an innovative approach to uh, development of new vaccines, um, working with uh, colleagues in the animal health industry uh, who have the expertise to develop these vaccines. Brucellosis is a, uh, a significant disease for many people in the developing world, it causes uh, human health problems, animal health problems, and uh, uh, and the need, there's a significant unmet need in terms of the current vaccines available. The quality is not that great. So how is the price structured? And if there is an organisation or a company out there that's interested in getting involved, how do they go about it? It's a, uh, the total prize money is about $30 million, up to $30 million, with the winning prize, uh, uh, the winner of the prize getting uh, uh, up to $26 million, so it's a, it's a, it's a very significant prize uh, for, the, for the winning uh, uh, participant. Um, basically, it'll be in three phases. Uh, you can apply for the prize, uh, to, to participate in the prize, and, uh, and it'll be selected uh, by the judging panel to, uh, to look at uh, whether it's a suitable project or, or not. Uh, when you're in that, the next step will be getting to the demonstration of efficacy of the vaccine. Once the vaccine efficacy has been uh, demonstrated, then you move on from there. A limited number of people will move on from there with a second uh, pr part of the funding uh, made available, leading eventually to the, uh, to the ultimate prize, which is up to 20 million for, 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 for one winner who delivers uh, a product in line with the minimum characteristics of the vaccine required, and up to 25 million total if you go above and beyond that minimum. So do you anticipate a lot of interest? Are there a lot of companies or organisations who are capable of getting involved with this? Of course, the prize is open to anyone who has the ability to develop vaccines uh, using technologies which may come from research institutes, but which, have, which will then be pushed through the development cycle and uh, through to registration. Um, so there are a number of companies ranging from the you know, the top 10 companies who have significant existing portfolios, right down to uh, smaller companies who may be focused on one technology only, and one approach only. So we're, the prize is open to all, um, and we anticipate um, uh, you know, getting a, a reasonable uptake. Um, we're aware of around five companies at the moment who have ongoing projects, and I'm sure will want to uh, participate, and I'm sure there'll be others who will uh, choose to come in as well.